what's the science family welcome back to another video of course we're here with some more pair more reactions man track number nine we have crave we're not gonna waste your time let's go straight into it paramore crave let's check it out <laughs> nice little drum roll Wow. Just hits those high notes effortlessly. Wow, man. That was a nice little song. Very calm, very peaceful to listen to. I love her soft vocals on this. Very nice approach. Very nice uh, vocal performance as well. Not, you know, the, the craziest, most outstanding vocal performance you'll ever hear by Haley Williams, but a lot of what I've said in the past, I'm going to say it again, just the way her she mends her head voice and her chest voice. And just flows within those scales so fleeming, uh, seeming, I said fleemingly, seemingly, right? And the way she just kind of ties it all together and just, I mean, it just sounds amazing, man. You could tell she did a lot of like, uh, you know, she had a vocal coach, a lot of uh, vocal training, a lot of vocal techniques that she used throughout this entire album that I didn't really touch on, but I kind of heard it. Um just an outstanding performance as far as 
uh, her singing ability and her really showcasing that and showcasing how much she's grown over the years. And it's just amazing to hear. Not just her. The other band members have definitely grown as well. Um, they've definitely uh, adapted to Haley's desire to change. Now, <laughs> I don't know if it's fully her desire. I feel like maybe all the band members wanted to change their sound and go in a different direction. But I feel like the main catalyst was Haley Williams. If she doesn't change her vocal uh, vocal style, if she doesn't get you know vocal lessons and gets a vocal coach and is able to expand upon her range, then this doesn't happen. So, man, full credit goes to Haley Williams, the band members. Um, there's something else that I want to say about this song. It's just not coming to my head right now. Oh, the, the, the meaning of the song, Crave. I don't know exactly what she's talking about, but one can only assume that she's talking about craving the days of the past, craving the, craving the days when they first started as a band, craving the days where, you know, quote unquote, it was more simple then. Um, you know, they just were like 16, you know, just making all we know is falling, going on tour, uh, you know, bringing the money back home to their families. You know, not everybody knows they're famous yet. Not all their family members know they're famous yet. They're still kind of in that uh, beginning stages of, of fame and popularity. I feel like that's what she's talking about. You know, craving those days in the past of when the band was all in unison and, and have one common goal in mind and no outside external, uh, you know, interferences would, would interfere with whatever they had planned. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's what I would assume she's talking about because she's definitely not talking about her craving her past relationship and, you know, her ex-husband. That's definitely not what she's talking about, right? So one can only assume she means craving the past with her band members. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this song. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if it's, you know, not a song you really care for. You skip it. Uh, but yeah, this is track number nine. I don't know if I said track number nine, or track number eight. But we are heading towards the uh, the end of the album. Yeah, this is track number nine. So yeah, man, one more song to go. It's very sad. Don't want it to be over yet. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, positivity. Love you guys. Take care of yourself.